Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. What I'm going to do is show you how I get dressed in my heated flight suit. I'm going to show you how I design that. And I'm also going to show you how I hook that up to the trike here. And also, we're going to run the numbers to know what you can and can't use. It turns out the 503 and the 582 uh, produce the same amount of electricity and of course the 912 produces a little bit more. We'll run the numbers here a little bit later to know what you can actually put in. First we'll look at the start with the boots. There's pads that can fit in the boots and and then the little electrical hookout comes right out here. A little heated shelf that goes on the bottom. It just depends on what you what you manufacture of which there are a, a, a number of them. So we got the boots on. Here's how I rigged up my pants that I put on. Okay, we've got our, our input here. This lead, I actually sewed it in down one leg and the other lead goes down to the other leg here. So what we have when we're all said and done here is we've got our one lead going here and then our other two leads going down to our boots. And this whole system can be integrated with a complete flight suit. I've, I've done it this way just because that's, that's how I did it. Gives me a couple different uh, options here. So put that in. And of course down here we're going to plug our boots in. Our suit. Zip that all in. Now what I've done, and I'll explain this to you later, is this vest, I'm running that on a completely separate circuit. And we'll go over why we why do that here in a minute. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the jacket. Now, what I've, I've got our coming uh, power coming in. We go in. I did actually a whole bunch of wiring here um, with a bunch of these things. I've got a power coming in here, and I've actually go, got it running through the jacket out to the, uh, this is going to be the glove plug-in. Got it running through the jacket out to the glove plug-in. And then another output here for this to connect to the pants. Put the jacket on. I'm plugging my, from my, from my jacket to my pants. And now here's the main supply. One supply supplies me power to my socks and jacket. And jacket, of course, being our, our leads right here for the, um, for the gloves. And then, of course, I've got a separate plug-in here for the vest. Okay, so let's go over to the trike and we're going to look at how this works because you can only plug so much stuff in and you can over, uh, you can take too much power. So let's, let's look at at least how I wired this trike and we'll go from there. On the trike here, let me show, show you how I rigged this up. What I did is I ran a completely separate circuit completely independent of all the avionics, radio, everything here, uh, completely separate. So I went for my battery, put a 20 amp fuse, I think a 20, I think a 20 amp fu fuse uh, correlates to uh, 12 gauge wire, ran that up, up through here. Okay, came to a couple of switches here, let me show you those. Okay, it came to two separate switches which are specifically for heat, completely independent. From this switch, it goes out and it goes to a little radio shack. It's got three little plug-ins. I can show you that too, maybe. There you go, you can kind of see those. And, and each one of these is another radio shack, uh, oh, male plug. And each one of these, and also notice that I've got them bungeed in here so they can't come out in flight. But each one of these is separately fused. I've got a 10 amp fuse on each one of these. Okay, now from these three uh, separately uh, fused systems, okay, I've got the right student glove and boot. I've got the left student glove and boot. And then I've also got my plug-in that plugs my whole suit in, which is basically my gloves and my socks as we went over here before. So there's your three systems. Now for the now for the vest, the whole thing is is if you try and run two pairs of gloves, two pairs of boots, and two full vests, there just won't be enough ele electrical output. And you're going to drain your battery. So. I have a separate circuit here 
that switches on the vests and this goes through the, my little controller here and what happens is, is this should, how this works it, it, it basically just turns it on and off because you might be able to see the, light, the lights blinking there showing you uh, and you can turn the, f the front off, have the back on, you can turn the back on full okay so now we've got a, a separate, separate systems for your gloves and boots and the, the big draw, the vests and what you can do while you're flying uh, both this V10 radio and the Enigma have uh, voltage readings. And what happens is that uh, you, can, you can look at your voltage readings if it gets below, it's supposed to be 13, around 13 plus when it's charging. Uh, it means 12, 12, oh, uh, if you're down below 12 uh, on these readings, then you know you're draining, draining your battery. So you have to be a little bit careful, careful there. So, um, so, <laughs> If you really want the heat, you can put full power, you know, full power, switch, switch it on, switch it off. So, so this gives you a lot of options here. You can go just your boots and your gloves with one. You can turn your uh, vest on and off with this, and you can also control the, uh, how much each vest is putting out. Uh, a lot of times, if someone says that they're cold, I'll sacrifice, turn mine down, turn theirs up. That gives you a lot of flexibility here with those separate circuits. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go, now we'll run some numbers to find out what you can actually uh, uh, run. Okay, so here's the numbers. Heated clothing estimated average numbers. Uh, these are the, the loads that I used and numbers I used to uh, make my heating system work and it seems to work. Now, each pair of gloves is 2.2 amps, uh, use 12.5 volts, uh, equals 27.5 watts per set of glove. So two sets of gloves, two sets of boots, total out to 8.8 .8 amps, or 110 watts. Now, of course, I wanted to add to that. I, w I needed a couple of vests to uh, make sure everyone's warm, including myself and my student. So here we have uh, amps 3.7, uh, uh, totaling 46 watts apiece. So here, the gloves and the boots are 100. You ask two vests, and that basically doubles it to around 202 watts, 16.2 amps. Now, let's look at the capabilities here of the Rotex engine. As far as I can tell, the Rotex 503, 582, uh, the amps at max RPM uh, are 14 amps, uh, creating 175 watts. Now, at idle, I've assumed it's about half of that, uh, which I think is reasonably close, maybe maybe a little bit more, but uh, I don't really know for sure. It's about half of that. So now, at idle, we're talking 7 amps, 87.5 watts. Now, okay, the problem is here, if we've got, um, if here I'm trying to run 202 watts, and at max I've only got 175 watts, but that's not going to cut it. So that's why I installed that rheostat. It's not actually a rheostat. It's a, more or less an on-off pulsing unit that, that reduces that amount. So now if I'm, I'm a full throttle, I run both of these at half. I'm at about 150, 160 watts. And so basically I can accomplish that at full throttle. Now, of course, when I go back to idle, if I'm running 150 watts, now I, I, I can't quite cut it here. In this situation, if you're idling for too long with all this, the vest going, then you're going to be draining your battery. So basically, I know that just a little bit above idle here with my um, output here of, let's just say, 90 watts, uh, I'm running 110. I might be draining the battery just a little bit. Uh, it seems to have done a pretty good job over the years to be able to accomplish that. Also, what we've got here is an, the Rotex 912. Now, uh, that can put out uh, close to 18 amps, okay, or 220 watts versus 175 watts here for the uh, 503. So from this basic uh, load balance here, anyone can really uh, simply put together uh, what would work best for, for them. Now, of course, when you get into the jackets and the pants, that uh, draws a lot of uh, a lot of watts. But if you're one person, uh, you can go with quite a few things. 
you know, it just depends on different people have different uh, wants and needs and, and thoughts about what they're going to use. So it's pretty easy to just add up your amps here and then compare that to the minimum and the maximum and see what you got. And there we go. Our numbers for heating loads, electric output capabilities, and the load balance between those two. And from this simple table here, it's pretty easy to put together your own uh, needs and wants for how you would design your system. But this ought to give you enough information to put your uh, heating system together and be able to fly comfortably when it gets cold. We'll see you in the sky.